always feel kind of embarrassed when I boot this because it sounds like a children's toy. Arcade was developed by James Montagna and Andrew Lim, and published in James's name in 2015 for the Wii U eShop. It's a collection of three simple games inspired by old LED games and arcade cabinets. As James said, forget graphics, forget story. It's all about what's fun. Andrew Lim also said that the Wii U was a perfect fit for the vision they had with Dot Arcade. A lot of people seem kind of confused by what he meant with that. I think I know one of the answers, and with that answer comes a cool design principle that a lot of people appreciate but never think about. The answer is simple. Wii U was a fit for Dot Arcade because it would allow a handheld functionality that didn't require two screens. That's it, seriously. Playing Dot Arcade on a 3DS would be weird. Having the handheld functionality of the Wii U gamepad, players can better simulate the feeling of playing on a retro LED box than sitting with a controller and staring at the TV. With this freedom in how to emulate the game comes a fabulous demonstration of symmetry that very few other digital games show off this well. Symmetry is important in game design because as humans, we recognize patterns and order. Better yet, we enjoy finding these neat patterns. Symmetry is something we like finding. Symmetry is a great crutch for dipping players into the unnatural when you design a game. Look back at Ocarina of Time, for example. With the exception of the Deku Tree and the Shadow Temple, every dungeon in Ocarina of Time either started out perfectly symmetrical in design, or included a symmetrical hub area the player would normally come back to. It's organized and breaks the dungeon up into sections. It appeals to our pattern-finding minds and makes a dungeon feel less like a labyrinth as we try to figure things out. Dot Arcade takes the concept of symmetry and applies it to almost every aspect in its design. Taking a simple look at the game will tell it all. It's an 8x8 square the player moves within. All modes of gameplay and mechanics take place within a symmetrical realm, and the challenge the game throws at you directly stem from breaking that symmetry. Natural into the unnatural. Now what really fascinates me is its symmetry from a physical standpoint. Playing the game from your gamepad, the widescreen resolution is cut down to a square with the help of stylish artwork borders. Through the resolution and the playing field layout, you can rotate the gamepad however you want and still be playing the game naturally. Upside down? Side to side? You can flip this around however you want. Up is always up because flipped around, the directions on the control pad or face buttons will always correspond to the game's perfectly symmetrical top-down view. It's less about the fact that more games should be symmetrical, and more about the fact that most games can't be symmetrical. If I played Super Mario World on my gamepad upside down, the left and right movements would be okay, but crouching is now up, not down. Not to mention I'd be moving Mario with my right thumb, not my left. The game is not symmetrical by physical design. Think about any game with dialogue as well. If you can only read when the letters are oriented correctly, then the game is not symmetrical. There are so many things that indicate when a game isn't symmetrical, but there's nothing wrong with that either. A perfectly balanced and organized 3D game would be boring and predictable. Could you imagine how boring most games would be if every point of the experience was perfectly mirrored or offset in some way? It works in Dot Arcade's case, though, because it's so stripped down and basic in principle. The game delivers exactly on what James said in his interview. It's all about what's fun. Is it fun for you to play the game on its side? Go ahead. Are you waiting around for someone to visit? So in the meantime, you want to play a round of Dodge Club upside down? Go ahead. Go ahead, flop that gamepad in whichever direction you want it to be in. You can use the face buttons, you can use the control pad, you can use either of the sticks. Dot Arcade is 360 degrees of playable. So that makes 360 reasons for why you've gotta play this. Thanks for watching. Hey, so you're deciding to stick around, huh? Yeah, you've 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 come back to end slate. It's the minute or two I get with you. Um, I'm feeling a bit friggin' tired today, so I'm gonna make this one uh, pretty quick. Um, classes are very busy right now. Uh, you guys just finished watching the second episode of season two for YGPT, uh, but it was a week late because classes are really starting to friggin' pick up uh, right now with final projects and everything. Um, I have a calendar, like, perfectly laid out for uh, how I'm going to get everything done on time. So time is very, very tight right now. 
Uh, hopefully I have made enough time to get the next YGPT done on time. Um, that's my number one goal. Uh, but if I don't, then I'm probably just gonna push it ahead the week again. Uh, I think I have things perfectly planned out to a T right now, so it should be out. Um, but if it ends up getting delayed, then that week I need is, uh, more than enough time to get the next one done. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, this one was kind of a bit of a more simple one. You know, Dot Arcade is a simple game, so I didn't really need a lot of time, uh, to explain the point I was getting. Um, I also don't want you guys to think that, like, it sounds like I was being really nitpicky in this episode. Um, I think you guys would think more nitpicky than usual. I'm usually pretty nitpicky anyway. But I'm, I'm not saying that not being symmetrical makes a game bad, it's just a cool novelty, because a lot of games can't be symmetrical by design, as I showed. But, uh, anyway, uh, I don't want to keep you guys here too long. I've got some accounting to do. I've got to go fill out some friggin' checkbooks and everything. <laughs> but, you know, it's it'll it'll all be over soon. Oh. <laughs> but then I'm just doing spring courses again, so... But anyway, it's it's all good, man. It's all, it's all going for the greater good in the long run. But until then... I hope you guys enjoy uh, some more Let's Play parts, more Walden and the Werewolf throughout the week. Um, and look forward to the next episode of YGPT, because it's uh, going to be a classic game that I think a few more of you will be familiar with. Okay? Okay. Bye bye <laughs>